You know, I was a, a schoolboy, and um, well, um, the class was every class in the school would have a collection once a week. Um, the collection was to I can't remember, but it was for a good cause. It could even have been care of animals. Probably was, given it was a, you know, sort of 12 year old age of school. And we're talking about a school of um, 70 years ago, of course, you know. A bit less than that. But I was taken with, we could be the class that collects the most, because in some sense that was the measure, the dimension of goodness that you could be taken with, you see? So, I, I was giving my pocket money to it, and obviously I wanted to give more, and um, all my pocket money comes from mum, of course. Um, well, to cut a long story short, I was taking money from her purse and taking it to school and putting it in the collection. It seemed very good to me because mum wouldn't notice and she's got plenty of money. <laughs> Certain realities that um, the child's not okay with. <laughs> and at some point, it dawned on mum that money was vanishing from her purse. So she asked me, and of course I love mum, so I admitted this. Um, mm. But suddenly realised I was in the wrong. I was upset with him. That I'd done something wrong. Not intentionally. I'd done it for the right reasons, but I got it wrong. And as a good boy, I was very sorry. And by the grace of God, of course, I was surrounded by people who were very kind and understanding that children do these things, make these mistakes. And it was all right with them. In some sense they understood. He'd done it wrong. And you could almost say he'd done it wrong for the wrong reasons. It's still wrong. But they had the grace, of course. Because there were good people around me in that regard towards me. And somehow they understood, possibly because they'd been children too, <laughs> and hadn't completely forgotten. <laughs> We're still like that, you know, as adults, so to speak. We play the part of being adults in this world, but we're children, really. And the host of heaven understand and love us as children. Isn't that wonderful? And so we are nurtured into adulthood, into godliness. 
by the goodness of angels. Our Heavenly Dad, working with the host of heaven, to bring us to glory, nurturing us into life eternal. Because of their love for us, because of the grace of God, the goodness of our Dad, our Heavenly Dad, with us and in us, to the glory of life eternal with Him and all the host of heaven. Love you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Oh, I mustn't let the point be missed. What I mean by this is that we are children of God, and we will get things wrong. And we will be, but there's no need to be mortified by such. God loves us. All of heaven loves us. They understand. And it's because of their grace we are able to thrive and grow. You see, their grace and their goodness releases us into the fullness of life. And it's as well to remember that when you make a mistake in life and you think it's so terribly important. But with God and with the host of heaven, well, it's what you expect with children. It makes no difference. We still love them. perhaps because we've been children ourselves, but perhaps because we just love them. You are loved, and it is this love which gives you into life eternal. And it is our gratitude that is the spirit of that eternal life. It's an eternal gratitude for an eternal life in the loveliness of God and heaven. Wherefore are we sent? For this reason God has made us to be forever in wonderful friendship with him. Family. Loving, godly, eternal family. Bless you. Bless us all, and we are blessed. By the grace of God by his loving care. Thank you, Dad.